In December of 2010, while I was in Afghanistan, in Nangarhar, an Afghan uh, Border Patrol soldier murdered five U.S. Army soldiers, um, and they were uh, they they were from my FOP, and it was a you know pretty big international incident. And for any soldier that's killed, we always do a memorial ceremony. The day we're going to hold the memorial ceremony for these five soldiers, you know, a lot of uh, vi very high-ranking, high-level people are going to come to our FOB to, you know, for the memorial ceremony, to watch the ceremony. The day before we're going to hold the ceremony, we are having a meeting, the battalion commander and I, with the staff and the company commanders and the first sergeants. And we're specifically talking about the memorial ceremony. You know, we're kind of going through this whole rehearsal piece because it's important. Uh, you know, you only have one chance to get it right. And, you know, you, you're trying to honor the service of these soldiers that have fallen. And, you know, again, the families are going to get to see this. So, you know, you, you do quite a bit of coordination. Uh, but because we had such high-level people, such as General Petraeus was coming in, you know, the, the, the U.S. ambassador was coming, uh, my operations sergeant major, you know, wanted to make sure that everything was absolutely perfect. In pursuit of that, he planned you know, a bunch of extra work to get done so that we would be putting our best possible foot forward. And there's nothing wrong with putting your best possible foot forward, but I stopped him. And you know, he was going to have soldiers going around making sure that every bit of trash was cleaned up. And, you know, and, and I stopped him. I said, listen, you know, we're not going to do that. If how we conduct business on a day-to-day -day basis isn't good enough for anybody to come here and, and see us, then, you know, we're doing something wrong. We got to take a, a hard look at ourselves. You know, we shouldn't need to create this extra work just because some VIP is going to come see us. You know, either we're good enough or we're not. And, you know, and I, I'm betting that we're good enough. And so, you know, we're not going to do anything different. We're going to do it the same, whether it's General Petraeus or the ambassador coming here, if the President of the United States was showing up. We weren't going to do anything different than we would have done on any other day. How you conduct your operations on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, shouldn't change just because somebody important, you're going to, an important client is going to visit. What you do on a day-to-day -day basis should be your best effort. And it should be good enough no matter what. In the Army, we have people that we would term spotlight rangers. So when the spotlight is on them, they're, they're, they are the best thing since sliced bread. But when nobody's looking, you know, they're cutting the corners. They're, you know, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're taking it a bit slower. You shouldn't have an organization full of spotlight rangers. You know, you should have an organization full of people that perform at an extremely high level on a day in and day out basis. And what they do daily should be good enough for any day and for anybody. Understanding your people and how you can motivate them and what motivates them and what's important to them is, you know, kind of really how you breed that high-performing, you know, I'm going to do my best job every day characteristic into people.